the good old Lamy 2000. Don't we all love them? Classic lines, snap cap for easy access, great all around pen. Recently I saw someone asking about changing out nibs in it. I did my best to explain it, but video is always worth its weight in gold. So figure while I had one in hand, go ahead and uh, make a little quick video. So first of all, make sure he's empty. Don't want to be squirting ink any everywhere. Carefully rotate your barrel. It'll pull off. I'm not sure if any of you do this when you clean or flush your pens, but I'm a pretty obsessive about whenever I clean my pen, I try to get the barrel and everything off. All right, next is one of the most crucial things. This little bitty metal O-ring right here, which is your little grips for the cap. Do not lose this piece right here. You will be very, very sorry. Your cap will not go on. So don't do this over sink if you can help it. Or if you can, maybe put a little drain stop or a towel down to where that doesn't go down your, your drain. All right, that leaves you with your grip section. You got your little bit of macrolon, your, your stainless, and your nib and feed. If you look, you can see that it's uh, the feed pokes out just a hair. Otherwise, it'd be flush. So what I like to do is I like to take my thumb and kind of rest it on that feed. And I take my finger and I carefully pinch the nib. So I'm holding it right at the tip. Don't have to worry about misaligning your tines or anything. If you're careful about it, you just kind of gently put a little bit of pressure. Not much. You're not like smashing it. You're just kind of pressing a little bit. And then you just kind of slowly press a little while holding this back section. And you'll see it'll pop loose a little. Yours, if yours uh, hasn't ever been done before, it might be a little tighter. So you might want to soak it in uh, some water first to release any ink that might be up in there. So now you can see it started to come out. So you can grab it and then just carefully withdraw. You're left with the grip section without anything in it. Probably the heaviest part of the pen right there. All right, and then what's left is your feed and your nib. So on your nib and feed, be very careful. You see, kind of like a lot of pens, this little O-ring right here. Don't lose this guy either. It might function without it. I haven't ever tried, but it would suck to lose it all the same. If you look at this guy, let's see if I can get it close enough. It's kind of slant, sloped on these guys. This front section right here kind of ramps down. And that's where when you insert it, you can see how the back part is a little fatter than the front part, and the front part meets evenly with the fins on your feed. So that's just the, the clue. So I like to pull this guy off, wash him real gently, wash the feed, if that gets any ink residue out, no worrying about colors mixing or anything like that. Then you have your, if you were doing a nib swap, you could then pull this guy off right here. I rarely if ever do that but you can get a little piece of uh, masking tape or scotch tape and kind of stick it on the top, hold your feet and just gently pull like this. And the actual gold nib on these Lamy's 2000s will pull off. Or if you're doing a nib swap with somebody, you, you may want to just trade feeds and nibs and that'll be just as easy. Slide it into an ink vial, be nice and safe. On these nibs, let's see if I can make it show. This one says, 585 for the gold content and then Lamy. Uh, I've had other ones in the past that don't say Lamy and they'll have the size. I'm not sure which this one started out with. This one uh, is a kind of nice medium cursive italic at the moment, but done by Mark Bacchus of nibgrinder.com. So, um, so yeah, this is your feed. And so reassembly is pretty easy. I go back with that same orientation with the feed towards myself. Then on your uh, grip housing here, you see how it's got that half circle effect. Put that flat part that goes on the feed down here, rounded part up at the nib. So then I just take it, make sure the orientation's right, and then rotate it like this so that when you insert it, you don't, you're you not going to hit anything wrong. And this always reminds me of that, uh, that old kid's game, uh, what is it, doctor, where you're reaching in with the pliers to grab the little uh, um, bones and things like that. So I always try not to touch the sides. It probably wouldn't hurt it, but I just try to be as gentle as I can, and it'll see, boop, 
kind of po post right out. Then I press right here on the end, make sure it's seated all the way, and then you should be almost flush again with just a little bit of that feed sticking out. And then, boom, you're done. So then grab your little uh, O-ring here with your little tabs for your cap. I don't think it matters, but I've always made the habit myself of this little gap that's in this O-ring. I always put it to the top. I don't think it really matters at all, but hey, we all have our habits, right? So set back in, take your barrel, gently screw back on. If you want, you can put a little dab of silicone grease on there. It's not really needed, but you can. And then boom, screw it back in. That wonderful macaron finish makes it almost disappear. And there, you've completely disassembled the pen or swapped the nibs if that's what you're doing. As you see here, it took me five, six minutes and I explained the process. Once you get good at it, you can do it in a minute or two. Quickly disassemble, clean your pen, reassemble it, put that light colored pale ink in or whatever so you're not uh, contaminating it. I've done, uh, I've ruined some uh, fills of like Sailor Apricot and Mont Blanc uh, Lucky, uh, Lucky Yellow, no, Mont Blanc uh, Golden Yellow. By, uh, contaminating with like blues and things like that and makes them look muddy so doing a full clean on your pen sometimes is really nice so hope that helps have any more questions ask and if i can i'll answer